Well, I'm back to my Victoria 2 Bacar playthrough. It's 1907 as I'm invading Korea to get my cores. And it's going, as always, extremely smooth. And zoom on in. All right. Stop the invasion up there. Now we got to go flatten them right here. All right. Yep. Just keep taking over as proper Korea is being invaded now, too. All righty. So now I'll just head down south. All right, everything is going good. Just now, go invade proper Korea. Wow, Vietnam and um, vagina India is um invading southern Korea. So I'll be invading multiple fronts. All right, go kill them, and then you're gonna go. Actually, just go over there. That little stack is not gonna be too much. All right, so. We're now in February, about to get combustion engine, and oh, look at all that depth. Oh. Seventy-four would that that would knock it up to um like a hundred and twenty-one. <laughs> I want it, but I can't get it. Which is horse shit. Alright. We have split Korea up pretty big now, which feels good. All right, we're going to leave this force right here on the Korean border for when we kill them in another five years once our truce ends. Nope, go over here. At least that was a mission accomplished. All right, is there any... Yep, there's a naval base. All right, so... That went by really... Sp just when I finally about to say that went smooth and start cutting the funding, this happened. Now I got Crimean nationalists breaking out. Why are there Crimean nationalists out here? How does Crimea have a core all the way out here? Wait, I... Mm, I'm trying to think. Maybe I made a... Because I, I know I made a couple countries in this area vassals and all that, but I'm pretty sure their cores would have been dead already, even in EU4, so how the hell are they still alive? And I highly doubt if I somehow made Crimea into a vassal, I doubt I made gave them territory all the way out here to the Aerial Sea. That seems a little unusual. Alright, open up the factories that were shut down. Or right, we need to open up an electric gear factory. Now let's go open up Okay, got new prestige, machine parts factory, and then we'll open up an artillery factory. One. I love when I press on it, doesn't accept it. Alright. Would be nice if I can, um. Okay, they're all dead, looks like. Alright. So now I can cut the funding. It would be nice if I could eventually become capitalist. Wait, am I, um. Yeah, state capitalist. Would be nice if I could eventually go over to um, laissez faire and more importantly, um, free me full citizenship. That way I can start getting a lot of assimilation, but don't feel quite comfortable yet doing that. Is there a, um, yep, I have no interventionist policy, mean government, I mean party, which really is ass. I can't put the anarcho liberals in power. The only problem with the liberals is that they're pacifists. But then again, I got core, so it's not like I'm not going to be able to have to worry about infantry or anything. You know what? I think I'll take the risk and try it. All right. Hope for the best. Here we go. We have the liberals in power now. And now I'll at least make more money now since my tariff is no longer... I mean, I'm no longer subsidizing factories. All right. Start cutting taxes for everyone. Down to zero. Yeah, my industry is going to probably suffer a big, giant collapse before it maybe, hopefully, revives itself. I have no idea if it will or not, though. And is that Peru? Oh, Minnesota. Okay, accept an alliance offer. All right. No, 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 no. That's one. Too many troops. Two. Three. Four. 
Oh, my industry is really collapsing. Which makes me sad. It is really, really collapsing. Oh my god. Uh, that is that sad. Uh, my industry is dying. All the gains I made is just dying. Uh, sucks. Come on, capitalists, please start taking over. You're not being taxed. The tariff's not too high. You're getting 10% of your lug 10% of you're getting your luxury needs met. Just start working the factories, please, so this bleed would stop. This is sad. And speaking of which, now there's four of it. I need to work on I need to work on my troops off screen, which I'm gonna be saving soon after this year, so maybe I'll see if I could um move the troops around and edit, edit some of the stacks. Acquire core, but why can't I? Okay, I have a truce still. How long is that till? Where's? Okay, next year. I hope it lets me take over um the capital, because I believe that's the only core left I have to take back. Where is? Here we go. Other than Korea, yep. Ming's capital region and Korea are the only places left that I have yet to um, finish conquering. God, my industry is still dying! Oh my goodness! This is just sad! Okay, we'll knock you down to 60% tariff. Oh my goodness! It's lost almost a thousand points and the dying is still going on. Oh my god. This is just sad. Alright, get you down to 55% tariff. See electrical power generation next February. Uh, right now is we're... Stupid fucking Commonwealth. Well, you better be ready, Commonwealth. Once I'm done with t dealing with Ming and Korea... I'll probably be coming back for you again, too. Might even try and force you to give up um, Turkey if I can um, afford it, because that would be a big gain and big loss for you. Or even get rid of that ugly protrusion my border in Belarus. Since I can't conquer it all in one go, since it's like two or three states, I'll probably force you to release them. But you're going to get your ass beaten very soon again. Just you wait, and I'm going to weaken you some more. But we're now in 1908. Alright, so that's going to wrap up this episode. See you guys next time, and hopefully the great collapse in my industry will not will be gone, reversed by the end of 1908. So see you guys then.